literally almost forgot this part um if y'all see my youtube banner it's a new banner so uh, i just wanted to shout out um mini uzi for making it um i will leave his twitter and his youtube and all that in the description so if y'all want like banners and logos and all that make sure to go follow him and let him know and i think it's like five bucks to make one but he made mine for free so that's even better so he's a cool dude and uh yeah, I'll leave his links in the description. What's going on, guys? Connor Riley back here with another video. And I made a video yesterday, as y'all know. So, yeah. But I thought I was going to just post this because I think it would be pretty cool for y'all to see. Um, just saying, it's not going to be filmed like this. It's going to be filmed like an iPhone like this. So, sorry about the quality. I should have, you know, I should have filmed it like this. But it doesn't really matter, Um, I guess, anymore. So, it happened. But um, this is going to be some... It's gonna just be like a lot of talking and not really like, well, there's gonna be some booze in there, of course, but this is gonna be my training session, my cinema with uh, Jonathan Gresham. Um, I think y'all would enjoy this. I mean, maybe you won't enjoy this, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to upload because you know, people can see I'm trying to live my dream, you know what I mean? So this is gonna be some clips of here. There might be like two second clips in here because so people sometimes are just recording and stop recording, but there's gonna be like a whole nine minute clip of like Gresham talking and stuff. Maybe I'll wanna hear that information. Maybe I'll wanna learn what he teaches and stuff. So it'd be pretty cool to see. And uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, um, I'll talk to y'all at the end. So, and I'll just explain like, you know, besides those codes, what else we did. So yeah, see ya. Uh, let's do that over. Uh, it needs to be communication within a locker. You guys can't talk to each other. You don't have to talk before. Once you lock up, move. You don't have to go straight to the headlock. You can work the headlock. Or, I mean, work the lockup for a second and then say, I'm grabbing the head. And then you know? So don't be afraid to talk. Learn how to talk when you're in there with Sit. Go. Okay, so go back. Just the lockup first. Lock up. Then headlock. Okay, pause. Connor, make sure that uh, right hand of yours is around his way. The idea of that is so you can control it if you need to. Boom, your left hand can go on his wrist. Boom, because he's applying pressure. And so naturally, if somebody does something to this area, you're going to put your hand in. So that's what you want to do. Uh, for, for your uh, stance here, you're kind of bent over, which I'm probably sure is kind of uncomfortable, right? So what you want to do is you want to squat to the floor. So you want to find a good base squat position that you're comfortable with. Once you have that, that's what you want to flex your All right, now you have the head lock. Now walk around, Connor, you're going to keep that left foot planted. There you go. All right, so you always want to come back to here, Connor. So when you're in that headlock, boom, as he moves, see how my stance is in? That's your one key. Bam. Yep. Walk around. Uh, my dude, whenever you stop, you always want to stop with your left leg back. Thank you. 
delays in the day. Left leg back. Yes, sir. Hips up a little bit more. Before you move. You're kind of leaning, you're not really like. Imagine like if you were to move, you just fall. Think about it right now. No, just... I still feel like move. Move out of the way. See, you still got balance. So, come here. I'm leaning on you like this. You move. Move. Just move. I'm going to fall. So that's what we need to lean on. Lean on him like he has his feet your support. Yeah. If he moves, you just fall. Yeah. Like lean on him like. He is your support, so give him all of no, it. No, so we start with the left leg back. Yes, sir. You want to do that? You lean? It's an awkward feeling because our body wants to make sure we don't fall. It's an awkward feeling. But now, the, the reason for this is it gives you enough room to walk through. You see what I'm saying? So you don't have to stutter step. So you lean? All right, now just walk normal. Keep that lean in there. Start to put your body back in there. Exactly the way it is. Don't switch your hands. Take him down that way. 
Yes. Take it back down. Twist the wrist. Just do it. No, no. Just twist the wrist. Take it twist it backwards. Left. Take him down. Go down. down. Yes. All right. So now he's back on the wrist lock. Make that all one motion. Four roll to your feet. Now you're countering the roll by taking him down. When he takes you down, you don't have the back roll. You can just go straight to your back. Yep, so one more time. You want to roll? Now take him down. Right. right. That's it. Okay, so this is the story as well. Normally you always see somebody front roll and do something else to get out of it, right? So if a guy front rolls, he comes to take him back down. That's showing like he's trying to get out, but I'm a ref I see that. You get that? All right, cool. Switch your hands. Yep, you got it. Now, switch your hands. Now, switch your hands. Yep, that's right. Nice. Now, Connor, switch your hands like this. Over on 30 minutes. Yeah, like you're about to eat a burger. Yes, sir. Okie dokie. Ah. So, the difference in the break. Now, uh, this come around. There's a difference between heavyweight chain and junior heavyweight chain. Heavyweight chain should be based off of that. Yes. Junior heavyweight training is based off of the neck. So in your case, those things that I showed, they can work possibly with someone that's your size. Equal weight. In this case, I would do, if I had a wrist on you, boom, I would say, pick me up in a fire chair. Vamos, arriba es uno. decide to learn that and present themselves as an old school luchador, they automatically move to the front of the line and be called as like one of the best luchadors for the world. Right, because there's nobody else doing it. So think outside the box. Differentiate yourself. Become different. That's the only way to like get ahead quicker. For ladies, completely different psychology, your job is ten times easier. I'll explain later. Um, so yeah, basically you got any questions about this right now? No. Okay, try for me. Yes, of course. Ah! Don't sell a wristlock like you would uh, Walls of Jericho. 
I don't need clips hopefully are you maybe you just fast forward to this part who knows um but we what else we worked on we worked on wrist locks we worked on rolls we worked on head locks you know worked on like just, you know arm locks and all that and then just the actual like locks so we worked on all that we worked on running the ropes we worked on a drill that you run the ropes and every five times you do it you go faster so just be like one two three four Five, then you go faster you know what i mean so that's what happened and then what else did we work on we worked on a lot of stuff like this was like four days ago so it's kind of hard to remember but I'll also include like a picture in one of these clips of me with gresham also as well because you know why not and uh yeah it was a very fun experience i wasn't even know i was gonna go there and so gresham invited me it's kind of crazy guy gresham did because you know i look up to him so i'm like oh he said i can go so i was like cool so <laughs> It was pretty cool, and Gresham's a cool dude. If you ever have a chance, if you even like, if he goes like your school and then has like a cinema or whatever, I recommend y'all you go because he's one of like the coolest guys y'all ever meet in your life. Like I'm not even joking, and yeah, so it was just a fun experience overall. Um, taking bumps the day after, like when you take a bump and then the day after you feel horrible, but I mean, that's what I like. I want. To take bumps on the daily you know what i mean so and i'll get used to it eventually hopefully maybe i won't maybe i'm completely wrong so if you, if you maybe you won't get used to bumps so if any wrestlers are watching this video tell me that then it should be fun <laughs> so i will end the video here if y'all enjoyed this um i'm gonna try to up, i already said i'm trying to upload so i'm already this is already my second video so whoa um if you want to follow me through this journey make sure to subscribe like comment and all that jazz so I will talk to y'all in the next video.